Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is Saturday, November 4th. So not gonna go through a market recap today because, well, my Thinkorswim is installing updates and it's been installing updates for about 20 minutes. So uh, we're just gonna skip over that. So we'll go straight to the trades. So uh, here's starting with zero DTE, nice week for zero DTE, up a little over 33,000. Let's go through the different strategies and see how each one performed. Starting with the my AM ratio trades, just had one of those on Monday, uh, plus $2,600 on the Monday AM ratio. Uh, and I don't think I did any DKSs this week. Yeah, no DKS. No ducks. I've cut my zero day ducks from my trade plan for November. Uh, did have a couple of FOMC trades, obviously with the FOMC meeting on Wednesday, <clears throat> both of which should have been winners, uh, but one I completely botched and mismanaged. So the first one was my uh, FOMC Iron Condor that worked out well, plus 1300. The FOMC uh, Strangle, uh, everyone in the community, we were trading this live on our live stream. Everyone in our community had their profit target at 35%, which is what you were supposed to do. All of those hit within about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, me, I got greedy and decided to go for more. I thought the market was going to keep going. Uh, I ended up getting out a half at 35% profit, and then I held my remaining half of my position, and it took full loss. So net, net, minus 3,400, just a complete mismanagement on my part. So, not happy about that, but that's how that goes sometimes. Uh, no JSPs. Yeah, no JSPs. Um, Power Hour continues to do awesome. <clears throat> so, for Power Hour, so Monday, I uh, did a, for Tranche 1, I did a, a ratio. That was a nice winner for plus 8,100. Tranche 2, 3,400. Tranche 3 was a loser, minus 5K. Uh, Tuesday, all three were winners. Wednesday, did not trade power hour due to FOMC. Uh, Thursday, tranche one was a winner. Tranche two was a winner. And tranche three was a small loser. And then Friday, no bueno. All three got stopped out. But still uh, almost 12K for power hour for the week. Uh, PM ratios have been doing really well. Uh, uh, specifically my, um, my PM ratio credit to Tim Weiss on that one. That one's been doing awesome. So four PM trades, a little bit, uh, a little over 13,000 in profits on those four trades. By the way, if you see any of these that are open, that's because the, these were Friday trades where the longs expired and they will settle today. But like I said, my thinker swim is still installing updates for some reason. So uh, these are closed trades, but um, the longs just need to settle in on the uh, on the transaction. Next trades, uh, quiet lunch. I think I just had one of these this week. Oh, two of them. Yeah. So one on Monday, one on Tuesday. Uh, both winners. And then Rick. Rick went three for four on the week. Had one loser on Monday, in the, which very rarely sets up on Mondays, but we got a huge vol contraction on Monday, so I ended up taking it, ended up being a loser. Uh, uh, Tuesday was a winner. Thursday and Friday were winners. Uh, as far as dynamic butterflies, the only thing is time flies. Just had one closed trade for a $2,000 profit. The other couple here shown are open. And then dynamic calendars, rough week for calendars. I saw kind of across the board as far as folks posting that not too many calendars worked out this week. And, you know, obviously the environment that we had is not conducive to calendars, right? I mean, we had just, A, we had a massive move higher uh, that just kind of busted out of the range of any, any type of calendar, double calendar. Uh, not to mention volatility just got absolutely annihilated. Uh, VIX went from like 22 down to 15 in the matter of uh, 
a week. So that, that never works well for calendar. So minus 3,300 on calendars. And in fact, it's actually more than that. You see this open one here. Uh, this is one. I also had a vertical adjustment that'll end up expiring worthless. And so that'll, that'll add to the, add to the red here. So not a great week for calendars. Next up, Iron Duck just had one duck closing for the week, plus 182 on that rut duck. Option selling, as you can imagine, with volatility contracting, a really nice week for premium selling. Had a, took off a winner in oil for a small profit, uh, took off a winner in MES for a $350 profit, QQQ, 538 profit, soybeans. Uh, a little over 1400 ZN uh, took that one off quickly for a $300 profit. VXX verticals booked a, a little over 2700 on that trade. And then <clears throat> MES 325. So almost 6,000 on premium selling. And then lastly, portfolio margin. Good week on the portfolio margin trades. A lot of these are negative Vega. So when volatility contracts, that typically bodes well for these. So plus, yeah, plus 18,000 for, for the portfolio margin trades. Uh, 20,000 on a golden shark, minus 500 on a shark, plus 3,500 on a Humpty. Uh, small profit on a call swoosh. Uh, $11,000 loss on that Humpty, $2,000 Profit on a time fly, twelve hundred on a Humpty, thirteen hundred on a PM time fly, plus fourteen hundred on a call swoosh. So nice week, nice week overall. Uh, but I am super, super light on positions. I need to get some more positions on, uh, and I really need implied volatility to expand to give me the opportunity to put a lot of positions on. So. Hopefully we get some of that this week, or at least some two-sided action as opposed to just straight up. But uh, hope everybody has a good rest of your weekend. Chat with you soon.